Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Shabbat Shalom. Shalom. Welcome, welcome to Saturday Sabbath service. Uh, welcome back. So we are wakefulness theology. Yeah, hand claps. Yeah, praise Yah, hallelujah. Uh, we are an assembly of followers of the way, the way being Jesus Christ of Nazareth all over the world. We follow the Bible, the New Testament and Torah, which is the Old Testament. We also recognize the divinity in holy books such as the Apocrypha, which is the Egyptian, Egyptian, sorry, Ethiopian, oh my God, <laughs> the Ethiopian Bible, which is the oldest and most complete Bible on earth. Today we're going to talk about Egypt, that's probably why. Uh, before, before you are seven apostles to Jesus Christ of Nazareth, or Yeshai HaMashiach, as we call him, who serve as wakefulness theology clergy and leaders among um, our group, with Apostle Betsy here next to me, my sister in Christ, and my husband, Elder Mike, and myself, Apostle Paula, the founder of Wakefulness Theology. So we are building our headquarters here in Arusha, Tan Tanzania. And we're constructing a tent of meetings, a tent of meetings tabernacle, or we call it the tabernacle, what do we call it? The tabernacle of meetings and a Christian safe haven. So you are welcome to join us in worship and fellowship. We have a chat on Signal. You just download the chat and then you click the link that's underneath this video to join us. And we invite you and welcome you today, everyone on YouTube and everyone watching in the future. So the, every Saturday at uh, 6.15, Apostle Betsy and myself, we meet. We have a meeting with Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We go and we go to our altar and we pray. And for the past year and a half, is it already two years? About to be, It's, yeah. it's April, gonna yeah. soon be two years, yeah? Two years. He's been showing up and giving us a message and we come here, we share it live um, with each other and we talk about it and digest it. And so today's message is really a, a doozy. So I'm gonna thank you all for your aid and to get through all of this information. But what it seems to me is that we're being warned that the events that are about to kick off with the April 8th lunar eclipse, not lunar, solar eclipse is, uh, um, is opening the doors and beginning of Revelation 9, which I don't know if you know that Bible verse, but it's a big deal. So, you know, this, this thing is kind of difficult in the sense that I get the message in the morning at 6.15 and then I present it at 5 p.m. So, and it's not like I sat here all day doing it. So it's just really, I'm just giving to you what I got and uh, we need to fill in the blanks together. So with that said, how it works is that we're going to make a joyful noise unto the Most High Father using our biblical instruments. I have a shofar, which is uh, calling Israel to unite. So if you love Jesus Christ of Nazareth as your Lord and Savior, guess what? You're a part of Israel. So welcome, and we need to unite. So we're going to blow the shofar and other instruments, the tambourine and so forth. Uh, then we're going to have a psalm of protection from Apostle Yasharel, and he's also going to do opening prayer. Then we'll do a little worship, and then we'll get into the word. So without further ado. Amen. Amen. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. I'm Apostle Ashbro, and uh, I'll be reading this morning for you Psalm 91. If you want to, Psalm 91, it's an old favorite. Amen. <laughs> Psalm 91, and I read. He that dwelleth, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. 
I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler, and from the noisome pestilence he shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and shew him my salvation. Amen. Amen. Let's pray. O oh, merciful Heavenly Father, in the name of your Son, our King, our Lord and Savior, Yeshaya HaMashiach, Father, we bow our heads before you this morning, always being thankful for another day, thankful for an opportunity to come be before you this morning, thankful that you've called us and that in obedience we've answered your call and we join together this morning to worship you, to praise you. I lift each member up this morning and ask your protection over us, Father God. I ask in honor of our sister, Apostle Paula, she brings your word, a big word this morning, Father, you've given her. I ask that you would cover her from her head to her feet. I ask that you would lift up her voice as she shared these words. I pray oh, that you would cover her, that you would cover the equipment, that there be no issues, that all things will work accordingly. I ask that you would lift up her voice, that it will travel across the internets and reach the ears of those who you want these words to reach. I lift up Apostle Betsy as she reads the scriptures and as she reads the word that was given this morning. And I ask also that you would lift up her voice and cover her from her head to her feet. I ask that you would deliver them all from evil, keeping them safe. For Elder Mike, as he sits there, Father God, as he watches over them as a protector, as a warrior angel, I ask that you would cover that home, all four corners, all entrance to that home, that nothing would enter that home that is not of you. I pray your Holy Spirit will come now and fill them, be with them. I cover us here that are joining on Zoom. I ask that you would cover each of us from our head to our feet also, protecting us, keeping us safe, our family members and loved ones. I pray for those who are watching on YouTube that you would cover them also and those who will be watching in the future. Cover us all, Most High God. Deliver us all from evil, keeping us safe. I pray the presence of your Holy Spirit to come now this morning. Fill us all as we hear your word that is delivered by Apostle Paul, Father. Keep us safe, Father. I ask that you would cover us with the armor from our heads to our feet. We love you most high. And in the name of your son, we thank you this morning and pray these things. Yeshaya HaMashiach. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Praise you. Praise you. Hallelujah. Your mercy and your grace. We thank you for this day that you have put forth before us, Father. Knowing that you will never leave us or forsake us, Father. We thank you for the 91st Psalms and the 23rd Psalms, Father. That you are our protector. You lead and guide us, O Lord, beside the still waters, Lord. You have set up a table before us in the presence of our enemy it is not hidden that you are with us lord 
you are always with us, there to protect us, there to lead and guide us in your Holy Spirit into all truth, all understanding of the hours in which we are walking, Father. Oh, hallelujah, we are not alone, Father. We're so grateful for your mercy and your grace. We're so grateful, Father, that you are a Father that's a discerner of the heart of every man, Father. You do not look to the outside of man, Father, but you look to the inside as only you can, oh, Heavenly Father. Father, continue to give us supernatural discernment in the spiritual realm and in the physical realm as we move forward through this time that we're living in, Father. Yes. Father, we know the hour is at hand, Father, but you have prepared us for such a time as this before the foundation of the world. We're walking out our books, Lord. The pages are turning, O oh, Heavenly Father. Let us be steadfast in everything that we do. Let us be listening to the Holy Spirit of where he's, she's telling us to go and not to go, Father. Let us be obedient to your word, O oh, Heavenly Father. It is so important now, O oh, Heavenly Father. Continue to touch our hearts, Lord, that our hearts may be open to you. Oh, Lord, full of love, full of joy, full of gentleness, kindness, and goodness, and long-suffering and faithfulness, oh, Lord. And we act this way toward our brothers and sisters, too, Father, and Christ all over the world. Oh, Heavenly Father, we thank you. We worship you. We magnify your holy name this day and forever. More, Father, come, Holy Spirit, come into our gathering. And have your way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who is behind us, above us, below us. Surround us with your holy angels. As my brother read the 91st Psalms, Father. Oh, Lord, your holy angels have been dispatched. Oh, Heavenly Father, myriads of them to help us and protect us. In this walk, this last mile of the walk that we have to take on this plane. Oh, Heavenly Father. We are grateful, Father, for all things that you do for us. Oh, Heavenly Father, in your Son, holy name, holy Yeshaya. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Father. Glory to your holy name. Thank you, Father. Father, we lift your name on high, Father. We lift your name on high, and we worship you this morning. For only you, Father, deserve all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor, Father. You're righteous and holy, God, Father, and you ask us to be holy as you are holy, Father. Father, we repent of all of our sins, known and unknown, and we ask for you to forgive us and wash us in the blood of Yeshua HaMashiach. Oh, Father, we humbly come before you, Father. We humbly come before you, Father, asking for your guidance, for your strength, for boldness, for fearlessness, for us to be unshakable and unmovable for the things that are we are going to see and go through, Father. Father, we welcome your presence. We welcome your teaching. We welcome your counsel. We welcome your wisdom. We welcome your knowledge and understanding. We welcome fearing you, Father. Oh, Heavenly Father, you are a mighty God, and there's nothing impossible for us, Father. And we know, Father, that we are in your hands. We belong to you. And, Father, we lift up the body of Christ before you as well, Father. Father, we ask that the eyes of all of our understanding may be open, Father, that we may know your purpose for our lives, that we may know the direction that you want us to go, Father. Our desire, Father, is to do your will, Father. You are on the throne, Father. There's nothing that you are unaware of, Father. You are everywhere at the same time, Father. So, Father, we lift up the continent of Africa, we lift up the continent of Asia, we lift up the continent of America, North, South, and Central. We lift up the continent of Australia. Father, 
lift up the continent of Europe before you, Father, and every island, New Zealand, everywhere, Father. And we ask for your mercy, Father. Oh, Heavenly Father, we know that because you are our Father, we cannot fall. And you never fail, Father. You will never fail. So we are your children, and we know that you will not allow us to fail either. Oh, Heavenly Father, you are a mighty God, a wonderful God, Father. We ask that you open our ears to hear what the message that you have for us, Father. That you open our heart to receive your message, Father. And that you give us the will to obey your will, Father. Mm -hmm. Father, here we are before you. You are the I am that I am. You are the great I am. Oh, Heavenly Father, take control of every area of our lives, Father. Let us not look to the right or to the left, but to keep our eyes on you, Father. Thank you. Father, we, all, we lift up all the afflicted, all the sick, all the people that are wondering and not even looking for you, Father, not knowing that it is you that they need and the void that they're trying to fill, Father. Only you can fill it, Father. Oh, Father, we ask that you always place the words in our mouth that will make them turn around, Father, to your praise and to your glory, Father. Father, we ask that you bless each and every one of our equipments, Father, that everything functions perfectly, Father. We surround ourselves with the fire of the Holy Spirit, with your holy angels, with everything that is of you that nothing can penetrate, Father. Nothing can penetrate and disturb and disrupt this service, Father, or any other part of our lives, Father. In the name of Yahshua HaMashiach, we worship you, Father, this day. We say hallelujah to your name because you are holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. In the name of Yahshua HaMashiach, I pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Father. Father, we thank you, Father, that we are walking in our Psalms 23 uh, message right now, Father, because we know that you will never leave us or forsake us. Father, you said, it says, the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. We shall not want for anything. He maketh us to lie down in green pastures. He needeth us beside the still waters. It is he, Ahia, that restores our soul. He leads us in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we will fear no evil. You are with us, my Father. Your rod, Father, and your staff, your word, and your Holy Spirit, they comfort us. Yea, you prepared that table before us, Father, in the presence of our enemies, Father, you prepare that table for us in the presence of our enemy. You anoint our head with oil and our cup over. And surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. This is your word that we walk in, Father. This is your promise to your people. Oh, Heavenly Father, that we are surrounded and we are protected. We are never alone. So we fear because it is not of you. Whatever is to come, it is written, Father, and whatever is written will come to manifestation. But you will hold us in these times we're about to walk through. You will hold us into center of who you are. Oh, Heavenly Father, in the center, the chaos will be going on all around us, but we will be in the stillness, in your center, in your word, fully protected. Oh, Heavenly Father, and we are grateful for your word, that you're a God of righteousness and justice. This is what your kingdom is made up of, Father, righteousness and justice, Father. So you will never leave your people you will never do that, Father, leave us alone. So we fear not, but we only believe that you are truly able to do these things for us because you did it in the past and you will surely do it today because mm -hmm. we are a generation that they spoke about in the times of old. We are it, oh, Heavenly Father. So, Lord, let our feet stay cemented 
to the word, oh Lord, cemented to the road and the lightness that we travel on that road is light. The path is very clear, Father, that you have us on. It is us that veer off of the past, the path, oh Lord. But it is you that keep us on the path. Your Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, Holy Yeshua of Nazareth, and you, Father Ahia, keep us on the path, Father. Strengthen us where we are weak, Father, as only you know the areas in our lives that we need strengthening in, Father. We stand on the rock of ages, Father. We stand on that rock. Oh, Lord, not in our confidence, but in your confidence in your word that you have already spoken what will be. So we trust you, oh, Heavenly Father, and not man. Trust you. Hallelujah. And hallelujah. That don't even have control of his own breath, yet trying to control others and play God. They are not you, Father. You are on that throne. And this we can be assured of. That you have not left that tr throne. And everything that will be, will be. Yeah, yeah, you are yeah. just to hold on to your, robe, your word. Hold on to the altar. Oh Lord, of truth. Hallelujah. That you have set before us, Father. Hallelujah in your Holy Son name. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Who is our King of King. And he is our Lord of Lord. He is the head of heaven's army. Myriads beyond number, oh Lord. And he is a high priest forever in the order of Melchizedek. It is written, he sits at the right hand of the Father, interceding for us. He can do it because of the blood. We are protected by the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We don't need to put blood on our doorposts as in the ancient of days. The blood is in us. We carry the blood of Jesus Christ in us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you for your precious son. Who oh, Lord, that died on that cross for us. That we can stand on that rock and not be afraid no matter what is to come. In holy Yeshua, mighty name I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Worship you, Father. Hallelujah. All right. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. YouTube family. Brother Dario. Shabbat Shalom, Brother Paul. So happy to see you. 144 strong. You know it. Who? Who? Sister Karen B, welcome. Shabbat Shalom. Miss M, Shabbat Shalom. I don't think we've seen you on the chat before. Welcome. Miss Singh, so happy to see you again. Shabbat Shalom. We have uh, on oh, Sister T is here today. Shabbat Shalom, sister. Uh, as we said at the beginning, this is a, a doozy of a message, so I, I appreciate your patience and, and your help. You can give me some amens in the in the chat when you feel it, and and Zoom when you feel it. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for for letting your word go out today. This word that you've given. I pray that it's received, Father. I pray that you speak for me, Holy Spirit. Let your word be go out. So we're just gonna start directly with it. Here we go. Like they did in Egypt, they are doing again, coming against me. They will fail. You cannot stop my judgment. You cannot hide from my judgment. Tell them, my daughter, of their sins that have reached heaven. Tell them, my daughter, that the stench of their sins have reached heaven. You don't learn. Your machines did not save you last time and will not save you this time. From east to west, north to south, shall my judgment come upon those who resist me and you shall be crushed. Take what you have learned, my children. Prepare it well and feed the nations. Work while it is still day, for the night cometh. War, war is coming. 
internal and external, for those who have not submitted to me. This shall be your lot. Thus saith the Lord of hosts. I'm happy I have given this word to you. I'm happy it is out. Tell them what I have said. Let every man repent and be born again. Let every man receive me as their Lord and Savior, and you shall be saved. I love you, my children, even until the end of this age. Abba Yeshaya. Amen. Thank you, Holy Savior. Thank you for this word. So it's a heavy word, as we can see. Now, this is something that Apostle Betsy doesn't know. You remember I asked you what the date was? You see at the very top it says April 6th. Mm -hmm. So I call myself writing the date 406 because I wanted to look up 406 to know if it meant anything. But do you see I made a mistake and I wrote 206 mm -hmm. instead? Mm -hmm. How, what is the word count? 206. Okay, so I'm gonna explain it to you guys. So at the top, I don't know, can you, can you see the top of my paper there? It says uh, 206. It says April 6th, and then it says 206. Yes. You can see it? Yes. Yeah, okay. So I asked her what the date was. She said April 6th, so I thought I was writing 406, but I accidentally wrote 206, and 206 just happens to be, as you can see at the bottom of the screen, the word count. So... <laughs> As you can see, and this was at the very beginning of the word before I even got any word, I wrote 206 there at the top, and the total amount of words was 206. Amen. Oh, yeah. Amen. So I, I could have won the lottery. <laughs> <laughs> I could have won the lottery. I wish it was like, this is a spiritual lottery. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and read the, um, the letter line 206 because the letter line 206 is saying the same thing as the message that we just read. Um, and so, as you know, I'm writing, this book is, I just wrote the book. I have to get used to saying that I wrote the book, uh, the book of numbers. And so I'm just waiting for the publisher to send me back the, um, the e-reader version or whatever it's called. And you'll have it. If you'd like a copy, then email me at uh, wakefulnesstheologians at gmail.com, and I'll put you on the list and make sure you have the copy when I get it. Um, maybe even next week I'll have it. So the book of Numbers, there's n uh, Numbers 1 to 1,000, and we've taken the Hebrew and the Greek and the thesaurus meaning and put it together, and I wrote what it meant. So this is the meaning of 206, which is the length of the message from Holy Ashaya as as, as a, a confirmation that what is in the message is what is in the message. So we'll just go ahead and read directly. <clears throat> Externally, in the world or in your life. Now, if you remember the word from Holy Yeshaya, he said there's going to be war internally and Externally. So you have it here in the first words, okay? Externally, in the world or in your life, the uppermost levels of wickedness and idolatry are being perpetrated. These things which I was commanded to reveal to you, reveal also to others as I have done. No. <laughs> Isn't that exactly what he said in the message? He says, teach them as, as you've been taught and feed the nations. Yes. Amen. Amen. But it's also, I'm happy to give this message, and you have been instructed to go and tell others this message, and this is exactly what is said here. And it, and it says that the, the evil, the stench of the evilness has reached to heaven, so it's... it's it's, it's, it's all here. Yeah. So these things which I have commanded you to which I was commanded to reveal to you, reveal also to others as I have done. But that which is secret, do not reveal to anyone, unless it is revealed to you to do so. You will find the function of the masculine names and powers in the Archangelic Book of Moses, 
the prophet. Maybe we can skip the Bible verses for now. So let's just go down to the next blue section. You welcome the manifestation, proof, and power of Yah operating in you and stirring in the minds of your hearers the most holy emotions and thus persuading them. And then the last blue section. You are hospitable and welcoming even while in mourning. And you're probably mourning possibly over the wickedness in the world or the wickedness in your own life. Amen. Amen. So if we didn't understand the word, uh, it's about wickedness and idolatry. And it even says here, the farthest bound upmost parts, the end of the earth or heaven, wickedness, exteriors, exteriority. So let's go back to the message of Holy Isaiah. So we're going to talk about the like they did in Egypt part. What did they do in Egypt? Um, coming against me. So they're coming against the Father. How are they coming against the Father right now? And, and we're talking specifically about everything starting in April 8th. We had the message that uh, the calendar or the countdown or what was it? Something starts in April. What was it? The, the, it was just like two weeks ago we had that message about everything starting in April but I forget the wording. Uh, their sins have reached high heaven, so we're gonna talk about that. My judgment will come upon those who resist me. We're gonna talk about that. The war, the internal, the external. And there we go, so let's just get started. Uh, Father, be with me, help me explain this. May your word come uh, out. Shabbat Shalom. Yes, I agree. Yep, there are no accidents, amen, there's no accidents. So we're going to start all the way here with Revelation 9. Revelation 9, if you want to get your, your Bible, if you'd like, or just read along on the screen. So after I've been putting together, understanding the word uh, that he gave me this morning, this is clearly, this is clearly, what it is. It's Revelation 9. So let's read 1 down to verse 4. Revelation 9 verse 1. And the fifth angel sounded. This is the King James Version. And the fifth angel sounded. And I saw a star fr fall from heaven unto the earth. And to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. And he opened the bottomless pit. And there arose a smoke out of the pit as the smoke of a great furnace, and the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. And there came out of the smoke locusts upon the earth, and unto them was given power, as the scorpions of the earth have power. And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men which have not the seal of Yah in their foreheads. Amen. Amen. So, <laughs> all these years since uh, 2016, we've been yelling and screaming from the rooftops about getting the, the seal of the Most High Father. Uh, we were calling it getting on the ark. <laughs> we've been talking about how to get on the ark. Um, that's another way of saying getting the seal of the Most High Father. We've said years ago that it was already being put out, the seal of the Most High Father. The same time that the seal of Satan or the mark of the beast is coming out, you also have the seal of the Most High Father. And you need to have that like right now. If you don't have it, you need to stop right now, repent of your sins, accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Master, and you need to get that seal of the Father on your forehead and I mean pronto. So here, oh, Father, I don't even know where to start. We're, we're going to start with CERN, and I know that a lot of you are very savvy and, you know, advanced, spiritually mature people, so we know about CERN, but I also need to break it down for people who don't know. Um, and there's a lot that um, it's hard for me to explain, but pretty much CERN is the Hydron Collider in Switzerland, and it is built on the place where they used to worship Abaddon. And Abaddon is the, here as we see in the Bible verse, it's talking about the 
angel, where is it? Do you see it? Maybe this isn't. They don't talk about Abaddon in this verse. It must be further down. He opened the bottomless pit. So he is the demon that is released from that bottomless pit. And that's where this uh, CERN is. And what they're trying to do is open portals. And so as you probably already know, on um, April 8th, they will be running uh, to you know, open portals. So in, in the verse, in the, the message, he was talking about Egypt. So we just want to look really quickly at Egypt and, and some of the technology that they had. And here you can see, here they're talking about Mars, but we can see in the hieroglyphs of Egypt that they have, you see this wave particle, they had that symbol already back in Egypt. If you look down um, on different hieroglyphs, they have helicopters, they have airplanes, they have UFOs, they have all this technology back in antiquity. They had these things before it was destroyed. Uh, even the pyramids themselves, uh, you see the fifth Egyptian school, that's funny, the fifth, the fifth angel, or the, what is it called here? The fifth angel sounded. The fifth Egyptian school, just coincidence, on high energy physics. So what some people believe or understand is that the pyramids are actually um, weapons. Can you read this here, sister, please? Tesla. Mm -hmm. Tesla believed that the pyramids were more than just tombs for the pharaohs. He believed that they were energy generators capable of producing free, limitless energy. His theory was based on the fact that the pyramids were made of conductive materials such as granite and limestone, which could transmit energy. So there's a question here, is there electromagnetic energy in the pyramids? And the answer is, it is revealed that the pyramids chambers can collect and concentrate electromagnetic energy for the both, surra for the both surrounding conditions. Mm -hmm. Amen. So here we have you know, theories, I'm not a scientist or anything like that. I'm just giving you the understanding of the technology that they had back then in Egypt and that, they, and that now they are recreating today. Um, so the pyramids were built on ley lines. If you don't know what ley lines are, it's, the, um, it's like the, uh, how do I explain that? Like the veins of the planet Earth. So it's where you have the most energy stored up and built up where they cross. Those are ley lines. And so these pyramids were purposely built on these uh, energetic places on the Earth. And they themselves conduct and, as you see here, direct energy weapons and so forth. So these are uh, the inner, not the energy, the um, the weapons and the technology that they had in ancient times is, if not the same that we have today, probably very similar. I guess probably the same. Father says it's the same. They tried it before. They're trying it again with their weapons, but it's not going to work. So just to give you a little bit about CERN, you need to look it up for yourself because I'm not able to explain all of that in just an hour. But here's an article, CERN, CERN aims to build 20 billion collider, 20 billion euro collider to unlike, unlock secrets of the universe. So pretty much the one that they have right now isn't big enough. They need one that's bigger. So now wow. they're in the process of submits plans for the next generation model at least three times the size of the current one. Now the current one that we have, we've been warned that they could completely destroy creation as we know with the one that they already have. They can create black holes, they can create time travel, they can you know, open portals, they can do a lot of things. And so they need one even bigger than that. Uh, and so here we go. What I want to point out to you is that this Hydron Collider um, was purposely built to work on April uh, 8th, 
2024. It's not, it's not like they said, oh, hey, there's, a, there's, a, there's an eclipse happening. Did you know about that? No, I didn't know about that. Hey, let's hurry up and, yeah, that'd be cool. Let's do it on the 8th. No, it was planned from the beginning before they built this thing. They knew that they had to fire it up on the 8th of April. That's what I'm saying. Do you understand? If you're on mute, go ahead and take yourself off unless you have noise where you are. Yes. And the next time that there's going to be an eclipse as the one that we have now is, according to Google, 2044. So that is exactly 20 years. Well, not exactly because it's August 23, but uh, as far as the year is concerned, 20 years from now. I want you to understand that 20 years is a generation. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're, you know, if you, Father blesses you to live a normal lifespan, we should all still be here at that time. You know, we're all young enough, hopefully we would be here. So it's still within our generation, 2044. Now, I, I don't know if it was a video or, or something I was watching and I heard that they're building, it's right here. What is the path of the total eclipse for 2044? No. Anyway, I didn't put it here. But um, they're building this newer, bigger uh, hydron collider, and they want it to be ready to work. When do you think they want it to be ready to work? 2044. 2044. So wicked. So what I'm telling you is this is a purposeful plan that during these two e huge eclipses that their hydron collider will be working. Okay, 2044 is when, or they said in the article, that's why I gave you this article here, because I heard in another article and they said 20, they said the same date as the next um, eclipse. This one they said in the 2040s, so they didn't right here. Sister, can you read this? Is it a post? I don't know. On Friday, the CERN Council discussed a midterm review of a feasibility study for the F. Uh, CC. Is that probably the future collider? If the plans go ahead, the organization would ask for approval in the next five years and hope to have the machine, the machine built and ready for operations in the 2040s when the uh, hydron collider has completed its runs. So they don't say here the uh, exact, exact year. year, but I've seen in another article, I wasn't able to find it, a video or whatever I heard, that the date of the next eclipse is when they want this new, bigger version to be ready to run. So this right here, Revelation 9, when it's talking about uh, the key to the bottomless pit being opening, opened, what I'm suggesting to you is that it is CERN running these experiments that will be opening those dimensional portals to let through the demons. And we can already see it happening and we're gonna see it happening more and more and I'm gonna show you that. Um, the smoke arising out of the pit, I'm gonna show you that in a few minutes with the Madonna video. We're gonna talk about Madonna. Um, the sun being darkened. Uh, um, what else? We have the locust here in verse three. We're going to talk about the locust coming out and uh, no, 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 the star falling from heaven. OK. So this video, you guys know this the scariest movie ever because I've talked about him before. I'm going to put this video in the chat if you want to watch the full video. But uh, I think I'm frozen. Are you there? OK. Yes. It's OK. Did you hear me? Yes. 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 You're okay. good. I'm going to put the the link in the vid, uh, in the chat in case somebody wants to see the full video. Shabbat Shalom, Kelly. Kelly Ann, welcome, sister. Uh, but we're just going to go through it quickly because he puts all these pieces together and it saves me a lot of time and work. So. <laughs> Um, I'm just going to use him. Okay, so we're going to, the first one we're going to go to is six minute and three. You can see here already on the first screen that we're talking about the X marks the spot because that's the um, eclipse pattern that we're going to be seeing. So six minutes and 32 seconds. Here. 
Okay, so here he's talking about CERN and they launched the White Rabbit collaboration. The White Rabbit is an open source timing technology developed at CERN with application far beyond particle uh, physics, including the use in finance sector and more. The White Rabbit collaboration aims to provide dedicated support and training at the R&D um, project. So if you know anything about the White Rabbit, <laughs> do you know about the White Rabbit? Can someone explain what the White Rabbit is? Anyone know? Uh, I can I can do a little. Um, the White Rabbit is in Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. And he <clears throat> went down a tunnel and um, people were trying to follow him and catch him. And he had a clock uh -huh. that showed time. And he consistently thought he was late and running out of time. Uh -huh. And Amen. that's all I know. Amen. So the, the, that's good. The, the white rabbit is kind of like a code that they have among the elites. That's why you see here March 22, 20, uh, 2024, because that's 322. 322 is the skull and bones code that they use, which actually symbolizes the three um, strand DNA. Okay, so the white rabbit is a code that they use to say that they're revealing uh, secrets. How far does the rabbit hole go down? Um, they use that in the matrix, follow the white rabbit. So it's a code to say they're releasing um, information here, secret information. So let's look at 753. So you probably know this because everybody's talking about it, but let's just get through it. NASA will fire three rockets at the solar eclipse. Do you know about that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Examples of rituals they'll do in public right before our very eyes where they understand what's going on, but you know, just regular Joe public has no clue. So it's always ritual season in the beast system, it seems. And certainly April 8th is no different. Here's an example of one of the rituals that will be taking place on April 8th. NASA will be firing three rockets at the solar eclipse. Check this out. What's most interesting is this right here. The Space Agency's project, Atmospheric Perturbations Around the Eclipse Path, will investigate how that drop in sunlight and temperature affects Earth's upper atmosphere. Here's the important part. APEP, A-P-E-P, -E is named after the serpent deity from ancient Egyptian mythology. It's supposed to be the nemesis of the sun deity, Ra, do you remember Holy Ashaya was talking about Egypt in his message? Mm -hmm. yes. yes. Amen. Amen. So the name of these uh, rockets are APEP, and it's after named after a, a deity that uh, is uh, fighting against the sun. I hear I hear my sister Tia saying, "You can't make this stuff up." Egypt. <laughs> You're on the doorstep of tribulation, and all of this is about to be released. Everything's slowly being revealed right now, and there's some other things I'm going to show you in this video today. The darkness truly is coming to light, whether it wants to or not. Everything is coming out and being revealed during this apocalypse at the doorstep of tribulation. As far as the eclipse goes and everything on April 8th, I've covered a lot of that. So we're going to skip forward to 1030. This is the next part that, uh, uh, And it reminded me of uh, this video from Soundgarden called Black Hole Sun, mm -hmm. uh, where you see everybody's faces kind of turning demonic. Well, that's actually happening right now. I'm going to show you a clip here in a second. But now they're trying to put it out there that there's a disease that some people have where <laughs> they. <laughs> so, of course, when I saw this news article and I actually saw the video, the clip on it, it made me think of Black Hole Sun, this video uh, from, gosh, 12 or 13 years ago, very long time ago, maybe longer. Um, but as you can see, all the people's faces in here are turning demonic and talking about this a lot, cicada season. So with the demonic faces, what's important about this 
is that everybody, there's like 70, at least 70% of the world has taken uh, the beetle juice. Mm -hmm. And we've talked about spirits going in and dealing with people who don't repent of that and uh, continue to be deceived and continue to go down that, that road. When we're talking about Revelation 9 and we're talking about people who have the seal of the Most High Father and people who don't, these are the people that are having these wicked, distorted, uh, demonic faces come upon them, are what could possibly happen to some people who are not submitting to the Most High Father and find themselves in a wicked state. This demonic possession or um, the ability for us to be able to see the demonic activity on people's faces or manifested in the world is coming and is already here. So they're gonna show you in a few minutes how they're trying to cover it up and they're trying to say that it's a disorder. But before we get there, we're gonna show how at the same time of the uh, eclipse, you're having the cicadas come out and cicadas are the same as locusts. It comes around Every 13 years to this summer, though, an unusual double dose is going to hit us. You remember the last batch? I do. Here we go again, first in the south and then here in Illinois and crossing into our neighboring states. Censored, here's the weird stuff I love. Imagine your vision is totally normal, and then one day you see demonic features everywhere on people only, just like this, what you see behind me. Now, that's a reality for a man named Victor Shera. He has an extremely rare yet terrifying disorder called PMO. And no, it's commonly known as, or now known because people didn't know about it at first. It's called the demon face syndrome. People with the condition see parts of other people's faces distorted in shape, texture, position, or color. For Shara, that means grotesque, grimace, elongated eyes, and deeply etched scars, also pointed ears. I want you to pay special attention to what the reporter just said. He said they're calling this a uh, demon face syndrome because they've never seen it before. He says this is like a, a new anomaly, but it's not. People like my... Believe it or they cannot believe it. I don't give two f but I am telling you As I had mentioned, I have... So, people are already starting to see the appearance of demons in people on their face. And so, since they don't know how to explain this, they're, they're, they're making a new disorder. Okay, so the manifestation of this evil that the Most High Father is warning us about in this message is already happening, and this is the only the beginning of it. Amen. Do we understand what I'm saying? Yes. yes. Amen. Sister, could that be what happened to that picture I was editing? Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was a manifestation, yeah. Absolutely. Um, so this one I thought was interesting. Uh, a man went to a Lana De Rail concert. I'll show you a little part, and then he's going to show you how the faces started to... Um, what is the word? Transform at the concert. Mutate. Mutate. To the video. Check this out. Weird stuff happened at the Lana Del Rey concert last week. This was the strangest concert I've ever been to. There was a guy screaming constantly for Lana to kill him. And he kept requesting heart shaped box. The whole vibe was incredibly weird, spooky. But as the night went on, especially the last like three songs, her demeanor changed. Lana Del Rey's demeanor changed. And for some reason, my camera kept glitching. At the end, he's going to show you close up of the distortion of the, the demonic. Transformation. Why 
these these demons started to manifest on stage. At the end of the night, she said she had two more songs left. She played one of the songs, took a cowboy hat from the audience. There was energy there. There was a there was a weird, spooky energy at that concert. I decided to magnify these pictures a bit to get a better view. So here's a picture of one of them. Here's another one of the images. That's quite creepy. See the profile that looks a bit demonic or kind of like a witch. Demon face syndrome. <laughs> Amazing. Here it is. Here's another one. Super creepy. Reminds us of the demon face syndrome, right? That doesn't look normal. We all have it like then. An average human that looks like something demonic or wicked. And here's another one with a guitarist. It's interesting because the thing that's taking place on his face, we've seen that anomaly before with other shape-shifting videos throughout the years. Even right there, it doesn't look like a person. It looks like some kind of a monster or some kind of an animal hybrid. Here's another one of the pictures. Once again, something looks off, right? Doesn't look normal. Doesn't look like a normal human face. <coughs> Things are strange there, mutated. Here's a really good shot. These are some of the backup dancers. The face over on the right totally looks uh, warped and distorted, doesn't it? And then the uh, same thing with the one right here in the middle. Also look at the hands, all the hands. They actually look like scales. Look at those hands. They look like scales. Looks like, like a serpent, like something reptilian. This is what's happening. As I said, you know, I've been showing you, you guys videos like this for years. Uh, some other people out there have too. It's trying to show you the reality of the shapeshifters amongst us. Uh, okay, so we have some um, evidence of what's already happening in our world now with already what's going on. So after the eclipse on April 8th, when they roll, when they do all these things that are supposed to happen and all these things they're doing, we can expect the activity of this to pick up and possibly even the beginning of Revelation 9. Now, I can't tell you, I don't, I don't think it's necessarily gonna be on the day uh, itself, but it could be, and it could be subsequent months and days after, or it could be um, between, this, between now and 2044 that these things <clears throat> happen worse and worse and worse. <clears throat> Excuse me. So he's showing here um, this actress that you know, I don't know her, I can't say her name. Uh, she took a selfie of herself and then behind her you can see how the people's faces are warped. Do you see this here? That doesn't look human. This doesn't look human. So some people say maybe it's AI, maybe it's this or that. I don't know, but um, there's faces in the crowd that don't look right. <coughs> So again, what we're pointing out here is the evil, the evil and wickedness that has reached high to high heaven and judgment is coming and we're about to see the manifestation of these evils uh, on earth. As you can see, it's happening already. Look at these women. Does that look normal to anybody? No, so it doesn't. No, not at all. Okay, so just one more thing from his his video that I want to share. This is a pastor that he listens to. Now, this this is creepy. This creeped me out. So just prepare. You need to know something that you don't know. What's that? People are asking questions about the very things we should know and have the answer to and need to be at the ready to give to everyone an answer of that blessed hope that we have that Jesus is coming to rapture us before the seven year tribulation, which we are on the end of. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. Okay. Okay. So did mm -hmm. did anyone understand what the man said before the demon started screaming? He what did the man Jesus say? Name. He mentioned Jesus' name that he was coming. The name of Jesus. Yes. yes and no. But more specifically, he did say that. But more specifically, what did he say? Did anybody ca capture it? He said that Jesus is going to come rapture the church before the seven-year tribulation. Mm. That's what he said. Dude, maybe I need to play it again. Let's listen again to, let's just hear again what he said, because this is very important. Because a lot of people hear this message that I'm given and, the, and that's where they're gonna go. Let's listen. So I want you to check this out. You need to know something that you don't know. What's that? People are asking questions about the very things we should know and have the answer to and need to be at the ready to give to everyone an answer of that blessed hope we have that Jesus is coming to rapture us before the seven year tribulation, which we are on the <laughs> Okay, so he said, Jesus is going to rapture the church before the seven year tribulation. And then what did the demon say? Liar. And every, every knee shall bow. Liar. <laughs> Liar. Wow. Let's look back at Revelation 9 again. The fifth angel sounded, and a star fell from heaven unto earth. If a star falls from heaven to earth, is that tribulation? It's going to be bad, ain't it? Yeah. It's going to be real bad, y'all. If a star hit the earth, it's going to be real bad. Yeah. And to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. Does that sound like tribulation? Yes. 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 If the bottomless pit is open, that sounds like bad days. You with right. me? <laughs> he opened the bottomless pit. And smoke arose out of the pit like a great furnace. So that means it's going to be hot like hell <laughs> up on this earth. Okay. And yeah. the sun and the air were darkened because of the pit. Does that sound like good times? Mm -hmm. It sounds like tribulation, doesn't it? Right. And there came out the smoke of locusts on the earth. Okay. Locusts on the earth. That's not a good thing that eats all the food and causes all kinds of problems. It's a, it's a plague. And then unto them was given the power as the scorpions of the earth have power. So the locusts have the power to sting man like a scorpion. Does that sound like tribulation or does it sounds like tribulation, doesn't it? Yes. yes. And then what does verse four says? And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of uh, the earth, neither a green thing, neither any tree, but only the men which have not the seal of God in their foreheads. So what does that mean? That means that there are people here with the seal of God. Mm -hmm. Now, do you think that someone who has the seal of God would be raptured, right? If you have the seal of God, we assume that that means you're good to go in the rapture. Right. right? Yes. But here it says that you're here on earth. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's right. It says right here, Revelation 9, that you are here on earth with the seal mm -hmm. of God. And mm -hmm. that it, and to them it was given that they should not kill them, but we're going to stop there. So, um, so this tribute, I mean, this, I, 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 I can't explain to you why the demon screamed out or what, but um, it's a lie. We are not going to be raptured before the tribulation. We are going to be here to do the work, to teach the nations as we have been taught. Um, so here, um, this is just more information about the demon face syndrome. So we're just calling this out right now in Yeshaya HaMashiach's holy name that that's a lie from the pit of hell. That must have came out <laughs> when they opened that pit because this is a lie from the pit of hell. The demon face syndrome, if you see demon faces, most likely it's a demon 
face. It's a demon. It's a demon. Mm -hmm. um, now, I, I want to give you more proof about this. I want to give you... Ah, Father, help me, help me, help me. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, thank you for being with me. Mm, Ashaya. So years ago, it, it, this video came out in 2010. This is a Madonna video. And when I saw this video in 2010, and I've talked about it since, but the Holy Spirit gave me a discernment and understanding of what's in this video now, because in this video, she's explaining what's gonna happen uh, with the April 8th eclipse and what happens after. So if you wanna know what's gonna happen, Madonna tells us in her music video from 2010. When I saw it, I didn't understand, but I knew that it was saying that it's going to be exposed because back then I just started having my, my spiritual sight. And I was saying that her video was explaining that everybody will be able to see these demonic um, faces, these demonic people the demons that are among us, the serpent race that is among us, because it's not just humans on earth. It's, an, it's a second race of, 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 of uh, what are they called? Um, reptilians or demon, demons or whatever you want to call them. Mm -hmm. um, and so we would be able to see them. And that's what is going to be happening. OK. Now, thank you, Father. But today he gave me understanding of what I was seeing in that video. So let's read Zechariah 11:17 to understand the Antichrist spirit and the worthless shepherd spirit, because that is what we're seeing in most um, of um, the Illuminati one eye when they're doing this and they're uh, and they're sticking out their tongue and they're they're putting the six or whatever they do over their eye in this whole thing that they're doing. That is the worthless shepherd Antichrist spirit. So let's read 11:17. Woe to the worthless shepherd who deserts the flock. May the sword strike his arm and his right eye. May his arm be completely withered, his right eye totally blinded. So the worthless shepherd is the opposite of Holy Ashaya, who is our the good shepherd. And, um, you know, he, he protects us, he guides us, he leads us, he's the way. So the worthless shepherd is, you know, he's just like out to get his. He doesn't care at all about anyone else but himself. So I said, since I'm going to decode the Madonna video, I said, there, is there a, let me get a picture of Madonna covering her, her eye. And here you go. Not only is she covering her eye, you have, this one is the right one. What letter is that? X. X marks the spot. X marks the spot. Let's go all the way back to the beginning of this video. Mm -hmm. And their warning of disease X and Twitter X. Mm-hmm. So all of this has been leading up to this very moment in time, the X. It goes all the way back to us being called Generation X because they knew it would be us as adults when this happened. Mm -hmm. So we know that Madonna is, it's just saying here, the eclipse creates a giant X across America. So the Hydron Collider and um, that CERN and uh, all of these, uh, Madonna is a high wicked priestess um, for Satan. And in this video, four minutes featuring Justin Timberlake, she, she, they're going to tell everything. So we're going to watch it and I'm going to skip through it. We're going to break it down. Um, I don't know if I can put, I'm afraid if I put the music, they might block the video or something. So I'm going to turn off the sound. If you want to hear the song, you can uh, watch it on your own. So uh, let's just start. So the first thing we're, we're going to see is this guy here, and you see he has the death um, skull on his shirt. Mm -hmm. So 
when when you're when we're looking at the video and we're breaking it down you have to know that nothing is by coincidence it's not like he just woke up and he said mm, i'm gonna wear that that's what i want to wear today to the video that's not how it works weeks and years in advance how long it take to, takes them to do it they they set out the clothes they set out everything they set out the shots he didn't decide any well he might have decided but this was purposely and intentionally put there so we know from the very beginning that we're talking about death okay uh, let's go to the 13. So here, if you guys remember, we talked about the frequency, vibrational frequency, vibrational frequency. Mm -hmm. And so they're putting this cup of water here to show you that, hey, that's what we're talking about. We're talking about the fib vibrational frequency. Because actually, when we learned it, this is almost exactly what I showed you, isn't it, babe? So you put something on top of the speaker, and then it's going to make different patterns and designs based on the frequency of the music. So here we're talking about uh, frequency. You see this black moving right here? You see it moving? You see it? Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't know. You did see it? So throughout yeah. the whole video, this black this blackness is, is coming to get them. And they're saying, I'm out of time and all I got is four minutes. Mm -hmm. So I've been trying to figure out for my life, what is four minutes? I'm counting, I'm doing, revel I'm, I'm doing everything I can figure out, what is four? And it occurred to me today that this is 2024. 20, four. Four. And the next time the eclipse is happening is when? Body. 20. Four, four, four. Mm. Y'all with me? Yes. We only got four minutes. So she's referring to the 24 and the 44 right here back in 2010. Y'all with me? Yes. yes. This right here, I want to show you that she is um, Je Jezebel. All right. When we're talking about the wickedness that the Most High Father is unhappy with. This way that we uplift these celebrities and, you know, she got her bum out there um, to, to ensnare and to fish and to trap men, mm -hmm. maybe women as well, but um, men to, to get them to lust after her. So women's husbands, women's uh, sons, this woman is out to get them to lust after her and entrap them. And we celebrate women like this, the Beyonce's, the Rihanna's, the Madonna's, the Britney's and all this. And this is one of those sins that is stink stinking to high heaven, <laughs> Jezebel seduction. So this black, um, for me, I'm thinking it could be the eclipse this darkness that's coming, it could be the eclipse, it could be what we see in Revelation 9 when it says that the darkness is coming, yeah? It could, it's the vibrational shift that we see happening when the portals are open, huh? It could be the judgment of the Most High Father, right? Uh, but that's what is coming. And, and when this wave of darkness comes, you see it cut, this is a bathtub, it cut the bathtub. So as Father was saying, you're going to be crushed, you're going to be destroyed. This darkness that she's running from is destroying as it goes along. It's destroying everything in its path. Okay, you see that? Mm -hmm. Amen. Do you see as this black judgment comes, sweeps over the world, it starts to reveal the true faces, the inner faces of people. Do you see that? Amen. And when I saw this back in 2010, I said, this is going to actually happen. There's a movie, it's called, um, I don't know if I'm going to remember the name of it, but in, in the movie, the man puts on glasses and then he can see the aliens with these glasses. So it's kind of like they, give it, they live. That's right. They live. So it's kind of like they live where we're going to be able to see the demonic faces. And whatever, if you look at the words, uh, whatever you are on the inside is going to be exposed. Whatever you are on the inside is what you're going to get. That's going to be your lot and your portion, as Holy Ashaya said in the word. So that's what we're seeing here. 
this is representing that internal war as and the external war. We can see it here being exposed. Do you guys see here that darkness has caught up with them and you start to see the distortion that's happening? And in the background, you see something that kind of looks like a Christ figure. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. Yes. And it's 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 um, showcased. It's it's framed. So he's she's purposely here. He's purposely there so that this thing is in the center so that you can see it very clearly. Right. Yes. OK. This man, I took a screenshot. We're going to look at it in a few minutes. This man, this is what you call a, um, a girdle. What is it called? A waist, a waist cloth, loin. loin yes, thank you. A lo or a waist cloth, a loin cloth, made of some kind of biological material. It looks like. So we're going to break down what that is. She is being transformed into a demon here in this shot. You see, their legs are being cut off because that black judgment is coming and it's it's literally destroying everything in its path up to the point of them getting you can see them being devoured she's been turned into a demon now and now she's going to go through the portal which is the window now we're on the other side of of to uh, april 2008 uh, april 8th 2000 and uh 24. Now these cars are representing people and they are now demons and they're going into the lives of people. I have a screenshot of this too. So you see she's in a supermarket and you see the black coming behind her devouring everything and you see that people are just living their lives normally. They're just going shopping. They're not even paying attention. And destruction is here. And these people are just living their lives. Now, when we look at the numbers, you're going to see that that is like the extent, the highest wickedness is what the numbers say. So these demons, now they're demons. They're just having a good old time as the world is being destroyed. And they are running from the destruction themselves. OK, again the four and the four, four minutes. So here I want you to see that he, she has on like also, what is that called? A waist, waist, um, that thing on her, her waist, this, what is that? Mine. Um, girdle. You put it in when you're over, girdle, thank you. She has on a girdle and he's gonna take off her girdle at some point. And that also is representing, it's a difference between the Adam figure that we saw earlier with that girdle on and now she's taking off her girdle. Okay, so now let's break this down. I wanted to do it a little bit better, but they, I wasn't able to look at the minute mark anymore. So it was difficult. Before I go on, let's see. What creeped you out? Every the whole knee video. Shall bow. Yeah, the whole video. <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> pastor from Hawaii. I can't read all of this now. Wow. Can uh, someone, uh, an apostle in the chat, can you look and see if anybody is saying something that is important or interesting that I need to uh, have, comment? Um, uh, Brother Paul said the length of the eclipse is four minutes. Oh, my. I was going to say, I was thinking about that. How long is the duration? I was about to pick up my phone to Google it. There is no rapture of the church. The, the tares are <laughs> gathered first and cast into the fire. Okay. Okay. So now let's, Father, be with me as I try to, to break this down. It's not easy. So let's, it might not be in order, but if I don't do it in order, that's going to be even more difficult. Um, okay. We'll try this. Okay, so this is a, a screenshot from the video where that this um, picture is. Now, when you look at the time, you see it's, it's 121. Do you see right here? One minute and 21 seconds, right? Yes. So I was asking Father, who, what is this? What is this? What am I looking at? So when you look up 121 in Strong's, it means Adam innocent. So the first man, Adam, you see it here? 
Mm -hmm. Yep, the first man, Adam, that's in Hebrew. And when you look it up in Greek, it means unpunished. Because why is he unpunished? He has the seal of God on his head. Why does he have the seal of God? Because he is guiltless and he is innocent. Amen. Do you see that? Innocent. Amen. Yes. So that is 121. So when I'm asking Father, guiltless, innocent. When I'm asking Father who or what, that's a trick that I figured out who or what this is, this is Adam. This is an innocent man, okay? Okay. So I'm asking Father, what is this thing? What is that, right? And I'm stared at it for a long time. And then you, you see here, there's some kind of, something here, to me it kind of looks like a white rabbit, but it could be, you know, anything. And then you have something here inside of him, in his chest, where we would expect his spirit to be, his heart to be, his soul to be, right? Now, I want you to see that here in her hand, she has her hand like this, and you see this, this white line. Do you see this white line come down? Yes. Yeah. yes. And it's like it's creating smoke. Smoke, uh -huh. anybody? smoke anybody bottomless pit anybody mm. okay look at her hair here look at that and look here it's like demonic it's like a devil do you see how she turned into like a devil here yes yes and this this spell is coming out of her and turning into smoke that is coming up against adam mm -hmm. do we see it Yes. 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 Okay. So now what I did, I was trying to figure out uh, what I'm seeing. So I, I turned it upside down because sometimes when you turn things upside down, you can see uh, a little bit better. Yeah. But what I want you to see is that at the, 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 you know, the scene, I don't know how many minutes it was, but the time of the scene. <laughs> This figure changed. So look at him here. Do you see his head is like a square or something? And do you mm -hmm. see now his head is like a, a watermelon? Mm -hmm. And it yeah. has like this, I don't know, electric bolt or I don't know. Do you see how at the beginning you see this was there and now you see the smoke is covering the smoke is now covering this whatever it was up which i assume it was his soul or spirit or heart or whatever humanness it's mm -hmm. now disappearing you see it at the beginning when he was innocent and now you see it here being eaten away wow look here this is um what you call the 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 waist cloth that is like of made of flesh it looks like flesh to me you see how at the beginning it was very small? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. And see how big it gets and it turns into a devil. Yeah. You see now it has these horns and it even has maybe like two eyes here and this mouth that's taking in that smoke from the bottomless pit that the uh, mm -hmm. uh, witch gave. Mm -hmm. Do you guys see that? Yes. Yeah. So wicked. Yep, that's what we're talking about today, the wickedness mm -hmm. of these people. Now, I turn this one to the side just because it was easier for me to see, but I can turn it straight. I don't know if it matters. Do you see there's a black figure here? Mm -hmm. And do you see her arms are like being held like if my husband grabbed my arms behind me? Yeah. Right? Her arms are being gone back behind her and there's this black figure. So either she's reaching in to get this black energy or this thing is grabbing her to give the black energy. Whatever it is, this is when she's turning into that demonic uh, creature. So. Uh, and the two, 
the two people on the bed um, having sexual relations, that's a distraction from what's really happening. Yeah, I, I think it's a part of the wickedness that is being taken in um, <clears throat> by the innocent Adam. But yes, a distraction as well. So here, this one is really crazy. This is 117. Do you see, this doesn't even look like Madonna's face. It looks mm -hmm. like somebody else. Do you see this thing coming out of her? This is his back, this is his arm. This is a head, this is his waist, this is his chest. Do you see it? Mm. Yeah. Do you see a person? Again, this is his underarm right here, his armpit. Uh -huh. This is his arm. This is his neck. This is his other arm. This is his, this is his waist. This yes. would be his little boob. You see it? This would be his hair. And this, this being is coming out of her and going into that demonic waist belt that, that, that man, that Adam has on the wall. Do you see it? It's like mm -hmm. a spirit coming out of her and going into him. Uh -huh. Yes. Tell somebody, tell me if I'm making it up. If it's not there, let me know. You see it? Oh, it's there. We see it. It's there. Right there. Now, all of this is happening during that judgment. This is showing you what is happening during the judgment. Okay? Here. This is when she's already turned into the demon. And you see the number 7,000 on this car. And you see the number 3757 on the other car. So I told you that they're now been turned into demons and they're now running around and interfering in people's lives, um, causing havoc. So let's look up the number 7,000. And we're going to look up the number 7. And we're going to look up the number 7573 because it's going this way in Hebrew. We're together? Yes. If, if you thought it, it better be what you want. If you thought it, it better be what you want. What does that mean? Manifesting. Manifesting. So at this point, when you're on the other side of this, this uh, eclipse, when you're on the uh, other side of Revelation 9, whatever it is that you think now, it better be what you want because that's what you're going to get. Amen? Mm -hmm. Amen. We're also going to look up the number 133 because that's right here. 133, 7, 7,000 and this number here. So let's go. Seven. Seven means to somebody? To perish. To perish. To perish. Amen. 7,000 means? Perhaps to shut in, enclose. So they are enclosing you and shutting you in to perish. Mm. You want to see the picture again? 7,000. This is the other side of the eclipse. Whatever you believe, whatever you choose, whatever you thought, it better be what you want. Because on the other side, when this judgment hits, you're going to be just like innocent Adam on that picture. You're going to be enclosed in that thing, just like we see in Revelation 9. Seven, it also means in Hebrew, it means a class of priests. And so when I looked up Abia, because that's what it means, the seven in Hebrew, it means great, great. So it's, they're, they're not only looking for just people, they're looking for the innocent ones. They're looking for the atoms to corrupt. They're looking for the priest. They're looking for the elite, for the elect to corrupt if it were possible, as it says in scripture. All right, uh, what other number did I say we're looking up? We're looking up. 133, right? Yeah. 133 is the license plate. 133. 
uh, not the license plate, it's the time, 133. What does it mean? The Prince of Persia and Media. The cool. Prince of Persia. Somebody tell me who's the Prince of Persia uh, spiritually. What does the Prince of Persia mean? He's the Antichrist, the devil. He's the, the Prince of Persia is the Antichrist. Mm -hmm. The Prince of Persia is the Antichrist. That's one another name that is used for him in scripture. So we're talking about the Antichrist here. You guys with me? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So 7573, what does it mean? That's what it meant on the car. It means? To bind, attach. To bind and attach. So it means the same thing that we just saw a few minutes ago um, with the other number. Um, to enclose, which was the, the seven, the, I think it's 7,000. 7, so again, these, these demons, they're unleashed. They come through the portal. They're interfering in different people's lives, jumping car to car, which is about your life and what you're doing. And they are trying to bind you and attach <laughs> you and prepare to praise and worship. Let's go back to that Prince of Persia. I wonder if I closed it. The other meaning of the Prince of Persia is worship. Where did I go? I think I closed it already, unfortunately. But I guess you'll just have to take my word for it or look it up yourself. Uh, the 757, seven, no. The 133, the other meaning of 133, three, because you have the Greek and Hebrew, is praise. Should I look it up while we're here? Should we just do it? Mm -hmm. What do you think, sister? Mm -hmm. Yes, go ahead. Mm. Yeah. I don't have to say what I think. Yeah. So Prince of Persia, Hebrew, it means Prince of Persia. And then in Greek, it means? To praise. Praise. Did I make it up? Maybe I'm not telling the truth. I'm not telling the truth. <laughs> it means to worship the Antichrist. <clears throat> okay. All right, so 205, let's, let's just keep going with these pictures really quickly. So uh, this is what's gonna be coming uh, after this April uh, thing. We're gonna be seeing the rise of the worship of the Antichrist coming and perverting uh, the sons of Adam or Adam. This picture system, sorry, I know it's pretty wicked. Um, well, I can handle that. You just gotta show me where it's at. So where it's at. It's inside, huh? All will be revealed. The demonic portal. Are you ready to go? Are you ready to go? Uh, one, two, three. I'm trying to look up what, which ones I had something to say about it. Okay. This one here. You got, you got to get in line, hop. And you see the, the judgment here coming and everybody's just living their life like nothing's happening. Do you, can you guys relate to that right now? Oh yeah. Yes. We're here talking about Revelation 9 about to jump off and these people are just living their normal life. Yeah. You gotta get in line. So you gotta get in line for what? Let's find out. The number here is 205. So let's look up 205 in Strong's. What does 205 mean? Trouble, sorrow, wickedness. Trouble, sorrow, wickedness. So you need to get in line for your trouble, your sorrow, and your wickedness. That's what the demons are saying. Okay. Uh, this is the other meaning of 205. It means the top of a heap the best of the spoils. So when you have, when you go like this, they go together. So the, the, um, the top of the heap, the best, the cream of the crop, get in line for your trouble and sorrow and wickedness. And that's why she says, you gotta get in line, hop. Like it's a, a contest to be the first to be doomed, right? Yeah. Now, these, these people, 205, perhaps be saying it's the elect they kind of referencing to the elect the cream of the crop it Keep could they're coming for you 
what I'm understanding is that this is when it's saying wickedness, it's saying trouble, sorrow, wickedness. It's I'm, I'm going to show you actually. One second. Let me close this. This is 206. So this is the, the length of the message from Holy Yeshaya from today. 206, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It means the highest extreme. And in the other way, it. Um, I have to go back. The highest extreme. And it means wickedness. Mm. So it's the highest extreme of wickedness. So these people here that are about to have their judgment coming, they don't even, they're not even paying attention. This is the highest extreme of wickedness. Wow. They're just devoured. Mm. Gross darkness. And if you think of pos a possible underlying message, they keep showing the grocery stores because of all the stuff they're putting in the foods. Oh, amen. 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 Uh, so here she's praising the Antichrist. Uh, this is the 133. I think we already looked at that up, the Prince of Persia number. If you thought it, it better be what you want. Uh, I think when we've already talked about that, I'm sure there's there might yeah there's some things that we're missing, but let's just do it this way because it's not easy. So uh, yeah, this is a very important one. When I was trying to figure out what was, uh -uh, I was trying to figure out what that thing was around his waist. Adam's that that human waste cloth that is like evil that is fed from the the smoke from the pit of hell that turns him into something else right something evil um, I was trying to figure out what that was and I saw this part of the video when she's doing this very demonic face and I couldn't like unsee it because for me I see the face of a demon you know, you just add like we saw on um, the uh, Lana Del Rey video where they were all um, morphed out. You just add that to her skin, but it's it's demonic. So I couldn't unsee it. And so I looked up the number 232. And guess what it means? It means waist cloth. Wow. Uh -huh. Wow. Yeah. Mm -mm. Here, 232 waist cloth. That's Hebrew. I don't know if it has something in Greek. To fish. To fish waist cloth. So that's when I understood what that thing was on, on Adam. And I understood that she, as a demon, is fishing to do the same thing to other men that, is, that she did to Adam to pervert him right. because if we understand what a waist cloth is here's a waist cloth but when we understand the meaning of it can you read that please sister <clears throat> as the sash clings to the waist of a man so i have caused the whole house of israel and the whole house of judah to cling to me just as a fine sash express beauty and nobility so God wanted his people to be ornaments of his greatness to all the world. That is the importance of a waist cloth. It is the most high father. It is a symbol of us clinging to him. It's expressing our beauty, the beauty and nobility of us as his, his wanted people, his chosen people, and us as ornamentations of his greatness to the world. That's how important the waist cloth is. And that's what Madonna is doing in that picture. She is uh, fishing for the waist cloth to defile, it. to defile it. Let's look at that, look at it again. This, no, whatever this was here, it's being eaten by the smoke of the, the bottomless pit. I know it's upside down guys, sorry. Um, 
And you, you'll notice as this figure changed through the video, this white figure here, it looks like, I mean, it could be an angel, it could be the Holy Spirit, it looks like something good to me. And it's trying to uh, hold or grab, do you see? It's trying to grab or hold and take this thing off. But in subsequent uh, pictures of it, it is not there anymore. It is actually eaten or taken by this red thing eats it up. So you see that. You can see a figure here trying to help. Um, <clears throat> so the 336, 232. Mm. Uh, so the, I you remember I showed you the picture of the, the mist. So one of the pictures was one, it was at one minute or yeah, one minute and eight seconds. So it's, it's talking about the mist or the fog of the bottomless pit. There was another picture that was one minute and 15 uh, seconds. I don't, I'm not going to be able to line up each picture for you. It would take too long, but you can on your own watch the video and pause it as you want. Um, so it's talking about two hills and the other meaning of it when we talk about two hills, this is where I think the two people were kissing. Um, the name is Adoram and Adoram means the strength of the sea. So the picture of the two people kissing, I believe, it represents the two mounds and it represents the strength of the sea. Do you know what the sea is? People. people. The sea is people and it also represents evil. Mm -hmm. The sea is a connotative the sea is connotative in that all men fear death by drowning, which symbolizes damnation in a theological sense. Consequently, the sea in the Bible is apparently evil as well as a symbol of evil. So at the end of Revelation, when he says there's no more seas, um, meaning there's no more evil, this was just something talking about cars representing people. So I'm sorry, I'm not going to be able to do what I wanted to do. It's going to take too long and be too difficult. But uh, to go quickly, just want you to understand that all of these screenshots that I've shown you, they're all talking about death, destruction, wickedness, and evil. Uh, here, the 115, I don't even remember anymore. 115, setting aside. So this is important. So the picture that is the 115, the two hills and the sea, when you look at the other meaning of 115 in the Greek, it means a setting aside. So here it's saying two things, that the judgment is coming and it's going, those who don't have the seal of the Most High Father on their head will face the judgment, the, the destruction and uh, the wrath and all these things that are coming, not wrath, sorry, but the, the judgment. But those who... Um, but, sorry, the strength of the sea, which is the evilness, will be set aside. So he is, he is doing a judgment, but he's also overthrowing the, the, their strength. So that is why they are trying to fight God right now with their machines, because they're trying to fight that coming judgment that will overturn, overthrow them. Yes? Yes. And we, we see that in um, Revelation 9, where it says that they're going to destroy those who don't have the mark of the Most High Father. So that was uh, Madonna's video. As you can see, it was not easy to break down. But uh, what do we think? It makes sense? Yes. yes. Amazing. They do everything right in the front of your face. If you don't know their language and you don't have the discernment of the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. to see what they're doing. This was uh, from 2010. I'm putting the video here in case somebody wanted to look at it and go over it themselves. Okay. So some more things that are happening. April 8th, you have the solar eclipse and it coincides with the horned devil comet. Did you guys know about that? Yes. Yeah. 
Yes. The horned devil comment. So in that Revelation 9, it's talking about the star fell from heaven to earth. I'm not saying it's going to hit earth right now, but I'm saying between these two prophesied dates of 2024 and 2044, we can think that it probably will happen. It probably will happen. And as we see this Revelation 9 um, prophecy unfold starting on April 8th. All right. That was a lot, huh? Yes. Amen. <laughs> All right, let's read it again and see if we understand the message a little better. Like they did in Egypt, they are doing coming against me. They will fail. You cannot stop my judgment. You cannot hide from my judgment. Tell them, my daughter, of their sins that have reached heaven. Tell them, my daughter, that the stench of their sins have reached heaven. You don't learn. Your machines did not save you last time and will not save you this time. From east to west, north to south, shall my judgment come upon those who resist me, and you shall be crushed. Take what you have learned, my children, prepare it well, and feed the nations. Work while it is still day, for the, for na for the night cometh. War, war cometh, internal and external, for those who have not submitted to me. This shall be your lot, thus saith the Lord of hosts. I am happy I have given this word to you. I am happy it is out. Tell them what I have said. Let every man repent and be born again. Let every man receive me as the Lord and Savior, and you shall be saved. I love you, my children, even until the end of this age. Abba Yeshaya. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I just wanted to show you one last picture at the very end of the video. You can't see because they put these tags up, but you can see here that she and him also started to transform. So they were also being exposed. Uh, the demons are going to be exposed. Amen. Amen. Everything that they are doing uh, in secret is going to be brought to light. There is nothing that they are trying to hide that will stay hidden. It is all going to come out. The blue car is a UK car. Okay. Hallelujah. Antichrist. The respiratory system. Yes. Hallelujah. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. Yes. Hallelujah. Father of the all, Father without beginning and without end, in Yeshua Hamashiach's holy name, we humbly come before you, Father. Hallelujah. I thank you for revealing this message to us, Father. There's so much confusion and there's so much fear, but because of your message, Father, because of your holy word, Revelation 9, we know, hallelujah, we know without a doubt that we are sealed, hallelujah. We are sealed by your divine protection and your holy seal, hallelujah, on our foreheads, hallelujah, Father. I thank you. I thank you that your seal is it's 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 in us, it's on us, it's around us and as we walk and as we live our life this this frequency, your frequency, your being, your presence, you as our head father is directing us, it is guiding us and it is now presenting us as your children in this time. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you for that. And father, I ask for mercy. Father, I ask for mercy upon those who are not ready for this divine judgment that is coming upon the land, Father. I see so many people shocked by the, I see so many people shocked by the the earthquake in, in New York and the earthquake in, in Jersey and, and, and all these things that are about, that are happening and that are about to happen, Father, they're so shocked. They just can't believe it. Oh, an earthquake in New York. I never thought, Father, they're not, they're not prepared for this, Father. And whatever they have done before this time, Father, is what you're saying they will reap. So I ask you to have mercy on them, Father, those who, who Father, have mercy on them. 
if there is something that we can do to help our brother and our sister, let us help them, Father. If there's something we can say or do, if, if there's a word that we can give them, if there's a hug that we can give them, is there, if, there's, if there's anything that we can do to help them, Father, let us do it, Father. Use us. Use us to be that light in this darkness that is coming to bring as many people to you as possible, as you said in your holy word, for us to use what you've taught us and to teach the nations, to feed the nations, Father. I pray that every man, woman, and child hearing this message, that they take up that mantle, Father, and they are obedient and do as you say and snatch as many people out the mouth out of the mouth of Satan as possible father they are the wicked ones are out there fishing the wicked ones are out there fishing for your 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 servants who have your mantle father they're out there wickedly searching to devour those who they may father and right now in Yeshua Hamashiach's holy name we rebuke them hallelujah we rebuke all the, the 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 servants of Satan we rebuke all the witches and all of the evil workers of incision right now we rebuke them and we bind them father we bind them and their powers against your children hallelujah we ask you to have a divine wall of fire around your children at this time father hallelujah as you said in your word those with the seal will not be harmed father i thank you for your righteousness your holiness your divine power to surround all of your children and protect us through the coming tribulation father we are just at the beginning we're just at the the what is it called the oh it's it's the it's the uh yes yeah, not that it's the um the be, the beginning of sorrows we are we are entering the end of the beginning of sorrows and we are entering into the tribulation and we will be here for that and Father, I ask you, hallelujah, to stay and be with us, continue to teach us, continue to grow us, continue to give us your power, continue to use us, and all those who need to, to hear your word, Father, I pray that they receive it. I pray right now, if there's anyone listening to this message and you don't know Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray that you repent. Right now, if you have anything to repent of, I ask right now, this is the time, repent. Let us repent, everyone. Repent in your heart. Father, I'm sorry for everything I've done that is not of you. Every thought that I've had that is not of you. Every action that I've done that is not of you. I forgive me, Father. I repent right now in Yeshua HaMashiach's holy name. And if you haven't done it already, hallelujah, after you're done repenting, and repentance means that you don't just say you're sorry, but you know that you will never do that thing again because you understand that it is wicked, it is evil, and it stinks, and it separates you from all that is good, all that is holy, and it will separate Separate you from that for the rest of eternity. And so you put that thing down because you love the Most High Father more than that. You love holiness. You love righteousness. You love Jesus Christ of Nazareth more than anything that sin can give you. And so you put it down and you say you're never going to do it again. So we repent of those things. Hallelujah. And then we accept Jesus Christ of Nazareth into our heart. Holy Yeshia, I ask you to come into our hearts. I ask you to come into our hearts, holy Yeshaya, and to live there. We accept you and we worship you as our King, our Lord, and our Savior. Hallelujah. There is no one above you. There's no one before you. And right now, Holy Yeshaya, I vow to follow you wherever you shall send me. Holy Spirit, I vow to listen to you. I want to be your child. I want you to be my God. And I ask you to come into my life right now and teach me and show me how to be your child. Teach me and show me how to eat, how to walk, how to think, how to sleep, how to treat people, how to dress. Teach me everything again because now I'm just a baby and now I'm going to be raised and I'm going to be grown in your image and I'm ready. I accept this Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Come take me. I, I, I ask you to accept me into your kingdom this day. Hallelujah. Pray this prayer in your heart and you shall be saved. Hallelujah. And now not only that, but you start to live now. You watch what you think. You watch what you eat. You see, when I say eat, I mean what you put in your body as far as what you see with your eyes and what you hear with your ears. You have to be careful because those evil ones are out to snare you. So from here on, change, change. Don't just be hearer of the word, but doer of the word. If you need help, Father, we pray this in Yeshua HaMashiach's holy name, Amen. If you need help, then reach out to us. If you need help, if you need deliverance, if you need prayer, if you just need a friend to listen to you or to talk to, we're here for you. So please go to Signal, download the Signal app, 
click on the link underneath, come join us at Signal, and we're here to, to help however we can help, but time is short. Father just gave us this message that Revelation 9 is going to start manifesting. I don't know if it's going to take two months or, or 20 years, but it, it is starting. As we saw in the, Madonna, in the Madonna video, whatever you're thinking, whatever you have in you will be exposed, and you're going to start to face consequences of that now on this earth. You need to be sealed by the seal of the Most High Father. So let us do that today. Thank you, Father, for this message. I give you the praise and the glory and the honor. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. What a powerful um, message that we got today. And it's amazing how Father is so loving towards us that he's willing to warn us and allow us to change the things that we need to change so we can be ready. So I encourage you again to give your life to Holy Yashaya. There is no other way out. Um, the song that the Rock Akadesh gave me was on the first Monday, two days ago. And it goes like this. Rise and shine, rise up, your light has come. The glory of my sun has risen upon you. You are mine. In this race you must run, your yesterdays are gone, rise up, shine, and be strong. Call on me, I'll always hear you, call and I will answer you, and show you mighty things I will do, I'm always there to bring you through. I form the light, the mountains, and the sea. No other God but me. The way, the truth, leading to victory. And forever you will be with me. Out of time, to me you must hold on, to no, do no wrong, like the stars you will shine. We will bind, together have new wine, and I will place a crown on all those that are mine. Be holy as I am holy. Go and set the captive free. The spirit of the Lord is upon you. And greater works than me you'll do. I form the light, the mountains and the sea. No other Yah but me. The way, the truth, leading to victory. And forever you will be with me. I form the light, the mountains, and the sea. No other Yah but me. The way, the truth leading to victory. And forever you will be with me. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, sister. Hallelujah. Uh, there's one thing I, I've forgot to mention thank you sister but it's important holy spirit brought it to me and told me that i forgot uh the time 
because when we talk about 2040, um, we need to understand that the hydron, the, the um, eclipse is happening in 2044. It's not a, a coincidence. So Matthew 24, this is a timeline we did quite a while ago, and we said the beginning of sorrows starts here, but it actually ends um, 20, 2024, 2025. So all 21, 2021, all the way down here, 2028, all of these things are popping off. Uh, Matthew 24, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Uh, so let's just look quickly at uh, 2025. So this is... Actually, I'm going to skip down 2040 here, verse 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. All of this right here is when immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun shall be darkened and the moon shall not give her light. So this is right after. This is when we're expecting that second eclipse uh, that CERN is going to be messing with right here. This is around the end of the harvest time that I've understood in the past. So, amen. I just wanted to share that. Hallelujah. Mm. Uh, just a few announcements just to wrap up before we leave. Uh, just an open invitation, which we'd like to express every week, to just welcome you back next week again uh, at 10 uh, a.m. Eastern. Uh, and also, as Apostle Paul has already invited you to join our signal chat, that's where we fellowship, and that's where you can uh, join us, and also join us, if you are there, to our prayer meeting, for example, on a Friday evening, and you can also submit your prayer request there. So we do want to encourage you, if if you are blessed by these messages, that you, you come closer to us and fellowship with us. Um, Apostle Paula mentioned the book that she has written, the book of Numbers. We've read uh, a, a letter line from that book uh, during this service today. You will, in this book, is all letter lines from zero to 1,000. It's book of the book of Numbers 2023. It's, it's ready. We're just waiting for it uh, to be coming back from the publishers. So it's, it's, it's going to be hot off the press to you soon. Perhaps not the actual press, the digital press is what we're talking about. So send us your email, uh, your details. You can uh, reach us uh, to express an interest to have a copy, a digital copy. Send it to uh, wakefulnesstheologians.com. At gmail.com. At gmail.com. And it's free. And this book is free. As Father says, you know, what you receive from him, you know, give it freely. And, and uh, it's the life work of Apostle Paul over the last 20 years to being obedient and to put this together under inspiration of Holy Spirit and guidance from Holy Spirit. I just also want to briefly mention the work we're doing here in Tanzania. We have an NGO with a number of projects. Um, our uh, site is a Wakefulness NGO. Wow, well, I've actually got it written down, but I, I, I tried to rattle it down because I, I realized, uh, yeah, okay. So it's wildtanzania.org, it's our NGO. We also have a, a YouTube site, and you know, these are places where you can see a bit more about what we are doing. Uh, if you want to become a donor to support us in our projects, on uh, the wildtanzania.org's uh, website, you'll be able to find links of exactly how to do it. There's PayPal that we can use. We also have a num number of projects that we have underway. We've registered them under the Global Giving uh, site. You'll find a link to that as well. So um, the final thing to mention is just the tabernacle of meetings that Apostle Paul also mentioned about earlier on. Yes, that is quite a, 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 a big assignment from the Most High Father, you know, to create that physical presence here for when Father brings his people out of Egypt. <laughs> and, and this is a place where Father hopefully will lead at least some of the the people too, and we are making preparations. And Father has instructed Apostle Paul to build a tabernacle of meetings as that physical presence. We know Father's with us always in the spirit, but this will be a physical meeting place where his saints can gather. Um, 
Thank you for joining us week after week. You're a blessing to us as well. And we do pray that this message is, is hitting home. And if you need to share it further, uh, please do so. Father's word in the message this morning is tell the people what is coming. Father was delighted to be able to make this announcement, to make it official that this is what is coming. So we need to warn and we need to work while it is day. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Sister, for the announcements. I just wanted to mention there's the GoFundMe for the Tent of Meetings, and it's underneath the video as well. And also, please do you know give a thumbs up, like, subscribe. As Sister was saying, we want to get this message out to as many people as possible. This channel has had uh, 2,900 something subscribers for like five years, <laughs> and I think it's it's time for more people to get this memo. As we saw in the um, message from Madonna there that people are just living their lives walking around like normal and they're we're on the edge of uh, judgment here so help get the message out please like subscribe and share and come back next week we're here every Sunday not not Sunday we're here every Saturday I'm not here on Sunday if you come on Sunday I won't be here <laughs> we're here every Saturday and uh, we look forward to seeing you we love you so much in Christ I pray that you have a blessed Sabbath and uh, Apostle Sophia May I bless you and keep you. Ahia make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. Ahia lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Shabbat shalom, everyone. Shalom, everyone.